morning, beautiful people of God. This is Prophet Israel with another word, another message. Today I want to talk to everyone about the scripture, Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. And it says that we are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, then it is tasteless and it is good for nothing but to be trampled under feet. Well, if you look at salt, it is, it is used for many different purposes. It is a purifier, it is a preservative, it increases, I mean, it enhances and it adds flavor. It's many different things. And just like salt, you can't add salt to any and every type of food or to mess it up. That's just how it is as us being Christians. As us being Christians, we can't do, say, or go certain places that the next person would go because as us being Christians, we're not allowed to do that. Now, in that same verse in 13, it says that the salt can lose its flavor, that it will be saltless. Well, what is that saying? That it will be tasteless. How is it that we can be Christians but we can lose our flavor? Have you ever looked at something for so long and by the time you looked at it, why are you looking at it for so long? It's not what you thought it was. Well, that's what God is trying to let us know. As us being Christians, we need to stay on fire for him all the time. In fact, Romans 1.25 says that they traded the truth for a lie. So have you ever been around someone where they don't want to offend this person or that person? So they don't say what they need to say. They don't say what is righteous or they don't say the truth that God is telling them to say to that person because they don't want to hurt that person's feelings. Well, that's what God is telling us to do for us to stay on fire. And then that last part of that scripture says that it is meaningless for nothing but to be trampled under the feet. What is God trying to tell us? What are you doing? As you being the salt of the earth, you're supposed to enhance. What are you doing on your job or at church or around your family members or around the people in your community to impact on them? What are you doing to let them know that you're a Christian? Are the only people that know that you're a Christian are the people at your church? Or every individual person that you meet should know that you're a Christian. Because if not, you're taking what God has meant for you to be and placing it here where God is saying, I didn't put you right here. Be, the, be that individual that I have created you to be. Come up here. Don't be afraid of what people are going to say. Because if you also look at salt, salt looks like sugar. And you won't be able to tell the difference between the salt and the sugar until you taste it. Will you be on fire for God? Will you be the salt of the earth? Will you increase? Will you enhance? Will you add flavor to those that are around you? Or are you just going to be a follower? I mean, a, a fan of Christ and not a follower. There are fans and there are followers of Christ. Which one will you be? Remember, I love you, God loves you, and all that you do. Give God the honor, glory, and praise. To God be the glory.